<laughs> on this holiday, many people stayed indoors watching some college football. Nick Walters here with more on that. Yeah, football fans got to ring in the new year with those college bowl games. Coming up, we'll show you action from around the country. The Citrus Bowl features Alabama and Michigan. It's the matchup we've all wanted to see. Nick Saban and Jim Harbaugh on opposite sidelines. In the Outback Bowl, Auburn and Minnesota. Ranked teams clash in Tampa, going down to the wire. Also, the Rose Bowl tonight. Oregon and Wisconsin follow, follow the Rose Parade, going at it in Pasadena. This battle of top 10 teams comes down to the final minutes. Plus, one more look at the Razorback women before they kick off SEC play on Thursday against Texas A&M. Stick around. Infinity's 30th year with 2020 edition 30 SUVs. Visit your local Infinity retailer to receive up to a $4,000 winter bonus on remaining 2019 models. Welcome to Shopper's Value Cost Plus Supermarket. Compare our prices and save. Here at our friendly Shopper Value Foods. Get your fresh, homegrown Arkansas produce here at Shopper's Value Foods, where we make it simple. Professional meat cutters on site for those special requests. We have the largest selection off a of big fire for $17.99. We make it simple. We put our items at or near the cost it takes to reach the shelves. Then we just add 10% at checkout. In Little Rock, North Little Rock, and Benton. Take aim this weekend at the GNS Conway Gun and Knife Show at the Faulkner County Fairgrounds Expo Center. Buy, sell, and trade with vendors from across the state, all under one roof at Arkansas's largest gun and knife show. That means huge savings for you. The GNS Conway Gun and Knife Show is this weekend. Mission is only ten dollars. Kids twelve and under get in free. Saturday nine to five, Sunday nine to four. Don't miss the GNS Conway Gun and Knife Show at the Faulkner County Fairgrounds Expo Center. Presented by GNS Promotions. 918-659-2201. <laughs> we all share the roads, so don't drink and drive. Please make sure we can all get over the river, through the woods, and down the highway safely this season. Happy Holidays from the Arkansas Trucking Association. Five steps for perfect winter skin. Five steps? My skin gets so dry and itchy, I need serious relief. That's why I use O'Keefe Skin Repair. It's 48 hour moisture in one use and guaranteed relief for dry, itchy skin. Thanks to O'Keefe's, I got my skin back. <gasps> Yummy lip balm. Yummy lip balm? My lips get so dry and cracked, I need serious relief. That's why I use O'Keefe's Lip Repair. It's all day moisture in one use and is guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked lips. Thanks to O'Keefe's, I got my lips back. Now's your last chance to save on the gift you really want. Sans year-end event. Get in today and save big on our tech-filled lineup, like Rogue or Altima, both with available Safety Shield 360. Hurry, event ends January 2nd. Save up to $3,500 or get 0% financing for 60 months on the 2020 Rogue. Fox 16 News is sponsored by UAMS Health. For a better state of health, Fox 16 Sports. Welcome into Fox 16 Sports and Happy New Year. I'm Nick Walters. The turn of the decade has folks turning on their TV for college bowl games. The song being sung everywhere to ring in 2020, should old acquaintance be forgot and watch football on New Year's Day? That might not be how it goes, but you better believe that's what happened. We kick things off at the Citrus Bowl. Nick Saban and 13th ranked Alabama take on Jim Harbaugh in 14th ranked Michigan. Mac Jones filling in for Tua, and how about this start? First pass in his first bowl appearance? No problem. Jones hits Jerry Judy for 85 yards, and Bama draws first blood. Michigan punches right back as Shea Patterson connects with Nick Eubanks. Wolverines eventually take the lead. Bama wouldn't take long to change that. Second quarter, Najee Harris goes up, over, and in. Check out the hurdle that gives Alabama the edge. Crimson Tide take that momentum and run with it. Mac Jones finds Devontae Smith, and it's on the money. Bama adds to their, to their lead again from the arm of Jones, this time to Miller Forrestal. 
Alabama goes on to beat Michigan 35-16. The sophomore quarterback, Mac Jones, throws for over 300 yards and three scores, carrying the tide to a Citrus Bowl win. That wasn't the only bowl game today in Florida. An hour and a half drive away from the Citrus, from the Citrus Bowl is the Outback Bowl. 12th ranked Auburn takes on 18th ranked Minnesota. Picking up in the second quarter, freshman quarterback Bo Nix rolls out and finds Saul Canella in open field. Tigers up early, but Gophers retake the lead and in style. Check this out. Minnesota's Tower Johnson only needs one hand for that grab. They took a closer look at it and said that foot was in. It's January 1st, and we already have a candidate for catch of the year. Auburn was not going away easy. Tarvius Whitlow plows in to tie the game, but Minnesota has the last laugh in the final quarter. Tanner Morgan chunks it to Tyler Johnson, two hands that time, and all green grass in front of him. A 76-yard catch and run takes the lead, and Minnesota holds on to beat Auburn in the Outback Bowl, 31-24. Tower Johnson goes for 200-plus receiving yards and a pair of scores. Oh, yeah, and surely a SportsCenter Top 10 appearance. Now to the East Coast. The first Rose Bowl of the decade was a fine one and may have even beat this morning's Rose Parade. That is hard to do. Number six, Oregon, and number eight, Wisconsin, battle in Pasadena. Wisconsin quarterback Jack Cohn throws a dart to Quintez Cephas right here, and this ball just narrowly crossed the plane. Check it out right there. Just got in there, but that's six. Badgers with the lead after half, but disaster strikes. Ducks block the punt, and Brady Breeze breezes his way all the way to the end zone, but Wisconsin gets back in business as Mason Stockey will go off tackle for a score. Going down to the wire, Oregon gains the upper hand as Justin Herbert, the quarterback right here, stiff arms a Badger, and he's going to have room down the sideline. He's going, and this is going to be six for the Ducks, a big one late in this game. Ducks take the lead and keep it till the clock hits zero. Oregon downs Wisconsin in a thriller final from the Rose Bowl, 28-27. The Razorbacks women basketball team take conference play on a tear. The Hogs are 12-1 and, and ranked 20th in the AP poll as they enter SEC competition. But a difficult test looms large for Arkansas. Number 11, Texas A&M visits Bud Walton Thursday night. There's a lot to look forward to in this one, a chance to see if these Razorbacks are legit, and two of the SEC's brightest stars, Kennedy Carter and Chelsea Dungy, on the same court. Arguably, uh, you'll have the two best players in the conference going against each other, Dungy and Carter, come uh, Thursday night. From last year, we wanted to work on being consistent all the way through um, non-conference and the conference, so I think that our mentality and our mindset is set and ready for Texas A&M. Now, your Silver Star Nation report, brought to you by Steve Landers Toyota. New year, new team, new chapter. Instead of prepping for a playoff game, the Cowboys get ready for 2020. From coaches to contracts, the 2020 season begins now for Dallas. Mickey Spagnola has more. Well, Happy New Year to the Silver Star Nation, and with a new year, the Cowboys already on to a new season, not in the playoffs this year, so we know these things about the Cowboys going into the 2020 season. We know that they will have the 17th pick in the first round. Remember last year, the Cowboys did not have a first round pick. They had traded that away uh, mid-season to uh, pick up Amari Cooper. Uh, that turned out to be a very good trade. Did not have a first round pick, so this year they'll draft 17th in uh, the first round and then they'll rotate with the two other teams and go 19, 18, 17, the other teams that finished 8 and 8. And we know the Cowboys' opponents uh, for next year also, uh, along with the NFC East uh, opponents that they play yearly, they will play at home the Cardinals, the 49ers, the Steelers, Falcons, and Browns. And on the road, uh, the Cowboys will play the Seahawks, Rams, Vikings, Bengals, and Ravens. Obviously, we don't know the order of the schedule yet. That doesn't come out until April, but we know who the Cowboys will be playing. For the Silver Star Nation, I'm Mickey Spagnola here at the Star. Happy New Year. Very nice. Yes, very nice. Yeah, the Cowboys are going to be looking at getting rid of Jason Garrett, perhaps. That's still an option. It has not happened, although a lot of Cowboy fans want it to be happening right now as soon as possible. But still a lot of moving pieces right now for this offseason for the Cowboys. It's going to be interesting starting this month where all the pieces go in place. Okay, lots of moving parts.
Thank you. Absolutely. We'll be right back.